Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an update for my Project Pan McFly. I'm doing this with Amanda and we have based this project on the Back to the Future movies. So yeah, we have three categories. The first one is 1950s, 1980s and then the future. So we chose six products we wanted to work on, so two for each category and I will go through them right now with you guys. I'm not doing that good on these products. I think I talked about that in my intro that, the, that these was very hard items, so I didn't know how good I would do. I have used them a lot, <laughs> but the progress ain't there. <laughs> so I will just go through them one by one and talk to you guys. For the 1950s, the first one I have is a lipstick and this is a red lipstick. It's more of a brick red, so it has some orange tones in it. But I have used this a lot, not as much as I wanted it to, but I really thought I had made great progress. And then I just marked it now. I really haven't made that good progress, but I have made some, so that makes me very happy. It's just not enough. <laughs> For me personally, I really want to finish this this year. If I'm not making more progress than this every month, this will not be done. And I'm very sad about that because I don't want to toss it because it's not going with me into 2018 because it's just too old. Then I have my L'Oreal Gel Intensa Eyeliner in 01 Pure Black. I have a good dip in it. I have used it a lot. It's very hard to go for a gel eyeliner and I know that for sure. I just wished I had like hit pan or something by this update, but I guess that is my goal to so hit pan. But I'm using it. I'm loving it. I just need the right brush with it. But as you know, I'm on a no buy, so I can't really buy it. Uh, new things. <laughs> so I'm making it work with the brushes I have already and I'm loving it but it's not going as fast as I hoped it would. I chose the red lipstick because of Marilyn Monroe. She wears a red lipstick. And the eyeliner is, winged eyeliner was very very popular in the 50s. And the first one is my erase paste. The erase paste I chose because it's this intense purple color that is very 80s. I have been using this every single time I have done my makeup. Maybe two or three times I haven't used it but this is going so slow for me. I don't know how people are going through these that fast. I just don't know. Too peachy and too dark for me even though I'm fair and this is the fair shade so it's not going that fast and i can't use it as a concealer because of the color it is getting old so i really need it to go next year at least Then I have the Balm Jovi highlighter from this palette. It is the, the Balm, Balm Jovi Rockstar palette. And I chose the shade Disco Disco Solid Gold Highlighter, this one here. I have used it so much, but um, there's a slight dip in it. I can feel it when I touch it, but I don't think you can see it um on camera or anything i will try to make a close-up so you maybe can see the dip i have used it and i chose it because of the name disco disco 80s disco go hand in hand you know and then for the future the first one is my benefit what's up highlighter and um, this is a cream highlighter and this is where I am now. It's so small and I have used this a ton, really a ton, as an eye base, an inner corner, nose, cupid's bow, on my cheekbones. I have used it so much but there's no progress. There's almost no progress. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I think I may have used it on the side so it's going down this way but not I think you know what I mean. I'm so sad but I don't get any progress and I have used them a ton. 
so I don't really get it. But I chose this because of the light bulbs. It goes together with the movie if you have seen it. The last thing I have in this project is my P2 The Future Is Mine Eternal Star Mono Eyeshadow in Virtually Bronze. So I chose it because of the packaging and the name itself. Okay, let's be honest, this one, uh, there is uh, zero to a bit progress. Uh, but the truth is, I haven't really used it that much. I maybe used it like three or four times. I really wanted to work on this, it was perfect for the project and I have used it so much more than I have all year. So I'm very happy about that. But I'm panning uh, another eyeshadow that I really want to finish this year because it's way older than this one. I'm, I'm using it. It's not consistently, but I'm using it. I'm really trying to figure out how I can use this and the other shadow at the same time. It is the cover um, bronze shadow that I have in my Sancti Lucia, if you follow that project as well. And this is more of a rose gold, so... I don't think the undertones matches that well, so I'm really figuring out what to do. That is everything for this update. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will root for me for next month because I really need some good luck with these products because it's not going that well. I hope you will check Amanda out. She is amazing. I love her. We talk every single day. I love spending time with her on Instagram chat. Her links will be down below and check her out please because she is doing amazing. The subscribe button is down below and please like this video if you liked it so I know you like this project pen type of videos. And please let me know if you have any video ideas. I would love to do them. So yeah, please follow my social media in the end slide and I will see you next time. Bye guys!